All right, moving on in the card in a Noki match. Jordan, I'm sorry, uh, Brent Lindenman taking on Jordan Castle. Brent Lindenman out of Pika Pau Jiu Jitsu. Jordan Castle coming to us out of Chicago MMA. And it is uh, it's Brent Lindenman immediately getting the takedown and looking to, uh, to secure a dominant position. Christian Reynoso here alongside Bernie A calling the action. What a night thus far, Bernie. So Jordan has side control. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Brent. Brent has side control. I'm putting that nasty shoulder pressure on. Both these, how much of these guys were? They, they move pretty. Yeah, they're 10? moving great for some big guys. 210 yeah. pound weight class. Very explosive, in the pretty quick. Yeah, there's that shoulder pressure. No one just being complacent with these dominant positions. Everyone continuing to look to advance shoulder pressure and really work towards that submission tonight. Everyone putting it on the line here at the submission only showcase. Halfway through the card and this has been nothing short of spectacular, Bernie. A great night thus far. Guys, you're sitting at home, you're enjoying this fantastic live free show you're already on the Facebook right click over on that donate button show some love that way show some support that way become a part of the, become a part of the solution guys as you continue to enjoy yeah, this Brent action puts on that pressure yeah continuing to look looking to work his way out from the bottom Jordan Castle not complacent I believe worked his way now to that half guard position as we resume, here in the center of the mat. And you know, all, these guys obviously come into us in good shape by the pace that they've kept. Yeah. But with the bigger guys, you constantly have to wonder, as the match advances, is endurance gonna become a factor, right? Yep. These guys are Brent out is here. very explosive They're and very constantly explosive. They're moving. They're moving very fast, Bernie. Yeah. And Jordan, too, is not. <laughs> Pika Pau's cheerleaders in the audience. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. The, the Pika Pau contingent strong tonight. Just want to give a shout out to Chicago MMA who lost one of their coaches, Brian Gassaway. An absolute legend uh, and a true gentleman of the Chicago martial arts scene, Brian Gassaway. Yeah. From Chicago MMA, a huge loss. Super huge loss for Our condolences MMA. to the family and to the yeah. team. A shout beautiful out to, knee uh, cut there. The Chicago MMA family. Yeah, beautiful knee cut there, looking to, continuing to put the pressure, Brett Lindemann. Uh, yeah, just to finish that thought, Bernie. All our love to the Gassaway family. As uh, someone who is uh, an absolute core member of the Chicago scene, a big loss. Huge loss. All our love to the family and to Chicago MMA. Now back into the butterfly guard. Momentarily was Jordan, oh, the back and forth movement of Brent Lindenman, fantastic. I love the way you talked about the pressure, but not just the pressure, Bernie. He's light on his feet. He's when Super the, when light and explosive. And Here we got that Jordan knee shield. Has a half guard on him and preventing that side control. Looking they to still sit got up time, and over. Got two minutes and 30 seconds left. Yeah, my question about endurance being an issue, I think they're answering this now. <laughs> yeah, they're three and a half say. minutes in. Neither of these guys look to be struggling to keep the pace as they're both nonstop action. Oh, a possible arm triangle here, Bernie. Wise to it very much so is Jordan Castle as he pulls Lindenman back into the guard. Nice using that hook to take him right off of that. But there was danger for a yeah. moment. Ooh. Yeah. Looking to pass that arm behind the back was uh, for a moment there was uh, Lindenman with uh, with that sort of positioning that's kind of getting dubbed the Dagestani arm tie, right? <laughs> Made famous by uh, Khabib and his team. Every time that guard opens, Brent is immediately looking to pass and yeah. doing so is Lindenman to immediately to side control here. The guard opens and passing is Brent. Okay, trying to catch that leg too. You know, anytime that knee is not directly on his hip, 
Jordan is looking to compose that half guard. Yeah. And there you see doing a very good job of re bringing that knee back in tight as Brent. Yeah. Uh, uh, set up. Possible dar set up here. Yep, he's got it in. Anytime you kind of come to your knees, you make that a possibility. One minute left. Spinning to the back. Spinning to the back momentarily, Lindenman. Jordan comes back to not complacent in the least. You know, I I think it's fair to say that Brent's been pretty dominant positionally, but no give up tonight at all in Jordan Castle. 30 more seconds. Nasty cross. Yeah. Wow. Right to the mount. Yes. Well, if Looking there's ever. Set up that arm triangle. Oh, 20 seconds. Going for the finish. Not looking to leave it in the hands yeah. of the judges, even in the. As we wrap up a dominant match thus far, looking for the finish. So Jordan has his arm telephone, but sometimes that doesn't help anymore. He's got three seconds left. Answer, doing the old school answering the phone technique <laughs> is Jordan Castle. As time runs out. A great showing by both fighters, but it is uh, it's Brent Lindenman that just a marauder out there. Constant pressure attacking. Great match. Here we go. Your winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner, Brent Lindenman.